When I walk to the cage, I honestly try not to think about anything, uh, clear my mind of anything that I was thinking about, anything from work, outside, personal life, I get it all in my mind because uh, mentally, for me, it's more mental. My first fight, I struggled with it, getting over that mental barrier and thinking about I got to do this, this, and this, but it ultimately got in the way, so I try to make sure my mind's clear of everything. I train at Team Oyama in Irvine. Why do I like training here? Because the atmosphere, honestly, when I first walked in here, it was like a family. I trained at a few places before this. Um, I walked in here, I heard coach walk in. He said a couple things. I was like, oh, are you from Hawaii? He told me, yeah. And I was like, oh man, this is it. Yeah, like, the environment here is just so, it's so like, I don't know how to describe his family over here. Chris is a, it's a very funny teammate. Uh, he's always joking, we're always joking together, but we always work hard, like he pushed me really hard. It's one of my funniest, like my, one of the guys that I'm enjoying most to, to spar with him. Uh, Chris is an awesome teammate. I mean, we all get together, we all hang out on weekends, you know, watch the fights, and you know, he's always the one willing to put up his place, you know, for us to mess up. <laughs> But they definitely taken me from just a scrapper. I mean, everybody from Hawaii just, man, we, we growing up, you just fight, you know? You stand in the street and just throw a blow, see who goes out first. Uh, I came here with that mentality, but they changed a lot about my game to wrestling, jiu-jitsu, head movement, trying not to get punched in the face, even though it don't look like it right now. Uh, but yeah, they changed my whole game, and it, it's taken me far. I think I lasted longer already than I would have if I didn't come here. <laughs> I think opponents would think he's too calm. Uh, just like I said, he explodes at the right moments. I think a lot of opponents just guess him to just come out there just blazing from, from belt one to belt two. But uh, like I said, he's pretty calm and then he'll wait till the opening moments. I don't know, I think uh, when you look at Chris, you think he's just like a, uh, like a caveman. The, he, don't know, he don't know shit, you know, he's, he's really strong. But uh, that's the worst mistake for people like um, because Christian is really good. He knows the distance really good. He knows how to move really good. And he knows how to put punches on your face really good. <laughs> Getting my hand raised after the fight is the best feeling in the world, man. I mean, I played football all the way through college. Winning a game is, you know, it's winning a game. It happens every week. But the preparation, the grind you gotta go through to get just get into the cage for those, you know, 15 minutes, 25 minutes, and then you get your hand raised at the end of the fight, it's 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 something uh, I can't even describe, man. It's crazy. It's the best feeling ever. Man, I like to fight because it's something I did growing up, man. <laughs> Everybody does in Hawaii, but really it's just competitive and it's more than just fighting, it's more of a strategy and a, it's something different. When I first started I thought I was just punching people in the face, you know? But as I started going along, it's a lot of defense, a lot of uh, putting things together, stringing things together, and uh, it's a lot of strategy. And I've come to learn to enjoy the, the whole journey of it, you know? My name's Chris Cross. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at, at Chris K. Cross um, from Wahiwa, Hawaii, April 21st. Fighting at Fighters Rep.